hey, if you've bought a car and you're working on it, uh, I've found that if this is your first time or you don't have a whole lot of experience, you're probably not sure exactly how tight you should tighten a bolt. And I've found that a lot of the guys that work here in my shop are that way. And so we have a method here that we found helps us make sure that all the bolts are correctly tightened. That method is, is that you take this bolt like this and you use a torque wrench like this and you tighten it down to the proper specifications. And once you get it there, then you take an ink pen, this acrylic ink pen, and mark the end of it like that so that you know that this bolt has now been tightened. Because in many cases, you'll be working around the car, you'll get distracted, you'll come back, and you'll miss some bolts. So you can quickly look at all of them and see, oh, those bolts have all been tightened, so there's no reason for me to go back and catch those. But I don't see that on this bolt. I better go back and check it again. Now, for you guys that want to go to the car show and you don't want your bolts all messed up, you can always come back with some lacquer thinner when you're all done on this job and wipe that off and make it look nice and pretty. But it's a really good way to stay organized. Now, what do you do to know that the bolts are tight enough? Because lots of guys don't know what's tight and what's not tight. And I found that most people that work for me when they first started for training them, they don't know tight, so they end up being too loose. That's why we've gone to torque wrenches. This is an example of a 3 8 drive torque wrench that we would use. And if you can look up on a chart on the internet, it'll tell you for a 5 16 bolt how tight it should be. You make your adjustments here by turning the bottom of this to whatever tightness that you need, like 15 torque pounds or 30, and then use the torque wrench on here until it makes a noise. Now this is a half inch, it's a little bit bigger, but maybe you can hear the sound on this when it tightens up. Here we are, we're pulling on it. Now listen for the click. That means that bolt has been tightened up to whatever spec that I put inside the torque wrench. If you want to use a torque wrench on your jobs, and I recommend that because you'll be a lot happier when you don't have loose bolts on your car, then go to subscribe on my website or on this video and you can see these online and get more information about them. I'm Barry Wilson with Wilson Auto Repair.